Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and how's this one feel? Electronic Arts, the good guy. Yeah, that's actually the case today, and there's no real ulterior motive here. Electronic Arts just genuinely did something that was quite nice, and obviously it helps developers, which is why I'm featuring it here on Game from Scratch. So what they just did is they pledged 23 more patents to their accessibility patents portfolio that you can then use them. They won't sue you. We'll get back to the details of that pledge in just a minute. On top of that, they open sourced some tech around accessibility stuff. So this is stuff around, like, say you have photo sensitivity, or you have speech issues, or hearing issues, or so on. These are all patents to make gaming more accessible to a wider range of people. Now, I hate software patents. I think software patents are stupid, and they should not exist. But in a world where they do exist, patent defense um, portfolios like this are patently a good thing, pun totally intended. All right, so we got the announcement here from Electronic Arts. Gaming is and should be for everyone. For years now, EA has strived to make gaming as inclusive as possible and to minimize barriers between our players and our shared love for video games. Today, in this spirit and following International Day of Persons with Disabilities, we have added 23 accessibility-centered patents to our industry-first accessibility patent pledge. Uh, through this pledge, launched in 2021, we share our accessibility-related technology with the wider uh, industry royalty-free, so together we can work towards meeting the needs of our diverse gaming community at EA and beyond. These new patent, uh, new newly pledged patents cover technologies to improve speech recognition, generate more personalized speech, and simplify the use of speech recognition technology in computing and gaming devices. Among other things, these patented accessibility technologies could be used to improve the gameplay experience of players who have speech disabilities or prefer or need assistance with verbally expressing themselves. Uh, they could make it possible for those players' speech to be more effectively recognized and reflected in-game in a way that is representative of of their age, emotion, language, and speaking style. Uh, to Blanca, software designer for the uh, player and quality insights tech at EA, one of the most exciting contributions being made today is the open sourcing of the new EA developed plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that enables in game use of EA's photo sensitivity analysis tech, Iris, uh, which itself was open sourced as part of our last year's pledge update. Uh, and then we got some more details of it, some of the things in accessibility. We got some other tools that have been open sourced as well, like Fontic. Now, the amazing thing is there's actually a lot of open source projects from EA. We're going to see that in just a second. But first, a little bit about this patent pledge. So the patent pledge in a nutshell, here is the pledge. Electronic Arts, EA, promises not to enforce against any party for infringing any of the listed EA patents. A list of patents subject to this pledge can be found below, and EA may make uh, may add additional patents to this pledge at a later date, like they literally just did adding 23 new patents. EA makes this pledge legally binding, irrevocable, except as, uh, as under the Defensive Termination Clause, which is right here, uh, and enforceable against EA and all subsequent patent owners of the listed patents. This pledge does not provide any warranty or assurances that the activities covered by the pledge patents are free from patent or other intellectual property infringement claims by third party. So they let you use their patents, but if their patent is invalid because it infringes on another patent, well, that's on you, not on them. And that actually is kind of illustrative of how stupid the world of software patents is, uh, but you get a list of all of the patents in the pledge. And I'm not going to go through them all, uh, but you get an idea of all the various different things part of this pledge around accessibility. And you get kind of a, um, a description of what the patent is covering. For example, this one here, machine learning systems that automatically uh, recommends controller configuration settings based on a player's specific gameplay style, skill, and tendencies. So sometimes a little bit overly broad here, uh, generating personalized music based on a user's hearing information and stylistic preferences to best comport with the user's hearing issues. So that's kind of a, uh, you know, a, an adapting to hearing problems by changing the music dynamically. Do you think any of this should be patentable in the first place? I don't know. I think patents are stupid, once again. Software patents anyways. But you get an idea. The new things that were added are all here. So you can tell by the, the pledge dates, so all the December 5th stuff. That is all the new things that they've issued. You will notice some of these are United States patents. Some of them are Korea. Uh, there is a couple of China in here as well. But most of them are U.S. patents. So anything here listed December 5th, 2024, those are the new additions. If you wish, you can click into a patent such as this one and see the uh, patent application. Reading patent applications will make you very annoyed, though, over time because people are allowed to patent just blatantly 
overly broad things, which is why software patents, in my humble opinion, once again, are stupid. So we also have some open source as part of this. If you are using Unreal Engine, they now have a plugin for Iris. Uh, this is the Unreal Engine plugin. It's under the BSD3 clause. This one basically uh, checks, it runs uh, in real time uh, and checks for potential photosensitivity risks. So basically say you are, uh, you know that standard warning, this contains flashing and may cause seizures for some people with photosensitivity issues. Uh, say you have epilepsy or something to that effect, this automatically scans for it. Or so real time uh, photosensitivity analysis of rendered content inside of Unreal Engine, real time feedback of uh, detected potential photosensitivity issues with flash transition and resulting line graph for luminance and red saturated flashes and automatic video capture of detected incidents. So it sounds like this is one of those things that you would use uh, during development to like filter for those kind of issues if you wanted to remove them out. But it sounds like you could potentially use this for runtime at runtime as well. So you could have like a, a photo sensitivity mode in your game, although you'll find it is only implemented as a plugin on Windows, at least right now. Uh, so that is the project. This is actually based off of another project. This is Iris. So this is a kind of the, the library for doing what the plugin does. So the plugin, the newly open source plugin is basically an implementation of this Iris library that runs specifically in Unreal Engine. So more detail about exactly how it does this and detects the, the flashes that might cause issues for people with photosensitivity issues uh, are all available here. So again, BSD3 license. Now, one of those things I mentioned earlier on is uh, Electronic Arts actually has a decent amount of open source stuff. Now, by far and away, the most famous is this one right here. Uh, this is EASTL. This is their standard template libraries specifically for games. I know a lot of AAA style games have used EASTL. EASTL is a library that's been around for 15 plus years. It is a fast implementation of STL optimized for games. As you can see from the marker over here to the side, C20, so it is being continuously updated. Uh, this is probably their most famous open source repository, one that you want to know about if you are a C developer, but you will find a number of other things here as well. Uh, asynchronous await in the JVM, uh, EASTD at S. Standard C, basically the standard C implementation for, uh, but basically game optimized again. And then a number of other projects, including the new Iris Unreal Engine project. Uh, so you see up here, they actually have 45 uh, different repositories here in their open source. Again, this one I think is by far the most famous, but you've got things down here, threading libraries, asserting libraries, testing libraries, and so on. So they have uh, a decent amount of open source projects out there if you did not know about them. And then we've got some things here like for uh, colorblindness and uh, so on. So they've got some other other accessibility stuff they have open sourced in the past. Ditto with Fotning is a text size and contrast checking solution. Uh, so to check accessibility criteria regarding font readability. And that again, all links back to this. And this is their patent pledge. Uh, and this is all around accessibility patents. They have released 23 more patents under this pledge. And, and then again, that new iOS implementation for Unreal Engine. Um, at the end of the day, other than the fact that I don't like software patents at all, uh, there's nothing negative here. This is just a genuinely good move by Electronic Arts, and that's not something you get to say very often. So, I don't know, a bit of uplifting news for the weekend. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.